Well, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, I sort of want to talk about the whole Disney and DeSantis feud. It's become kind of epic. Um, now, it started off with um, the Don't Say Gay bill, the Don't Say Gay ban. Um, Disney operates a theme park, of course, in Florida, and it was going to be building some new um, development. It was going to be like a billion dollars, and it was going to be, you know, thousands of jobs and big retail space and theme park stuff and rides or whatever. I don't know what they were doing. But um, it was big and it had been in the works for a while. But um, a lot of the families that were going to be moving there um, to work for Disney or already working for Disney were moving or were, had you know gotten jobs in there were anxious because they were um, LGBTQ families. And it's like, well, we can't move to Florida. It's not safe for us there. They're literally, you know, we're under threat there. Um, and then that sort of got in the press and then people started asking Disney, you know, what is your stand on the Don't Say Gay ban and um, their war on drag queens and the war on the gay community. And of course, Disney, you know, took our side. Um, so then, of course, the other side came for them hard. Um, and pretty much everything Disney's done has been under attack and they're a family company. So to attack them and say they're not family friendly is really damaging their business and really hurting them. Um, now they've made their own choices that have also made um, hurt their business with what they've done with the new Star Wars and um, so forth. But um, those things on their own wouldn't have, you know, had wouldn't have had the um, issues that they did if they were just, you know, in a vacuum. But um, you know with the, the haters and the, um, the the bigots and the alt-right and all that coming after them, um, they're, you know, just picking apart everything they do. And um, just it's just gotten really, gotten really messy. And I was sort of thinking about it, I was sort of thinking, well, and listening to a few people's opinions, and it's like, well, Disney's been around for literally 100 years. DeSantis has been, you know, um, there for, what, one or two? I think he's in his second... Um, um, what do you call it, uh, when someone gets into government. Um, I want to say season like it's a TV season, but um, second term, or I think it's in second term, and you do have term limits, so he's not going to be there forever. And he wants to run for president, and a lot of this for him is political theatre. He's just, it's just a stunt. It's like he knows his crowd, he knows his base, they hate Disney, they hate the LGBT community, and they're trying to um, portray Disney as some sort of boogeyman, and they've been attacking them, and not just criticizing them, but actually going after them business-wise and um, uh, affecting the, the, the real estate and the land that, that they've, um, they're leasing in that and making changes and um, talk of um, stopping them from being able to run their um, rides and stuff like that and all these sort of weird threats. And um, Disney basically said, okay, we're pulling out then. We, we, like, we are not going to go forward with this development and it's going to cost thousands of jobs. People who already had contracts and they were working on like a, like the contractors all that sort of stuff was being planned and there's a lot of business people are going to lose a lot of money and I mean there's talk of Disney leaving Florida now that's not going to happen for two reasons number one it's too expensive um, number three sorry did I get to two no number two um, I feel like the other one was a point that's all linked um, Disney's been around for a hundred years um, DeSantis has been in for like two terms. Disney World has been around for 70 years. They're not going anywhere. This is just, they're just weathering a temporary storm. This guy is causing a bunch of hassle. He's coming after Disney. He's costing them money. He's hurting them. But um, he's not going to be around forever. He's either going to run for president and disappear, or he's just going to serve, serve out his terms and disappear. Um, he's just doing this for attention and money in the moment. He'll be gone in a couple of years. He'll be in memory. They can, they can you know, outweigh him. But um, long term, so long game they're fine, but short term it is a huge hassle and they've pulled out. Now, have they pulled out permanently or have they just put it on hold? Because all they have to do is put it on hold for a year or two and the people who are expecting those contracts and that money are going to feel it and that's going to affect um, DeSantis. It's going to make him look bad because he's basically not, you know, certainly not coming out as pro-business. So they can still go forward with the development with the next um, mayor or whatever he is, um, put stuff on hold because they'll be around in five, ten years, you know, he won't. So I can see them playing the long game and playing hardball 
and it's just like I said, it's getting kind of epic. You've got the government coming after a large corporation company, a beloved, well-known company that they're attacking, and the alt-right and all that are attacking um, because they dare to not discriminate against gay people and not hate gay people and to, you know, represent them just like everyone else in their entertainment um, for the most part. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I, I, I like Disney. Um, I appreciate their support. I know they're going to be around long term, but short term, it's messy. And, yeah, I just had to comment on that um, because it's just, it's just, you can't ignore it. It's such a big story at the moment. Um, and it's quite fascinating to watch. It's, it's like you wouldn't have thought something like this could have happened a few years ago. And it does seem like just, it seems like a movie. <laughs> but I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the whole situation.